Hello everybody and welcome to the Quilters Apothecary Studio. Today we are utilizing the Mystical Arc Ruler to do a wonderful border treatment. Now you can use the ruler for a lot of different treatments um, in, in blocks, in borders, in sashes, a lot of different ways. But today we're going to focus on borders for our tutorial. So let me take you down to the quilt and I'll show you how I've sort of pre-marked a little bit. I wanted a few registration lines so this could work out. As you can see, I've got a nice border. It's approximately eight inches wide. I have measured and located the center, and that was my first chalk line, right in the center, all the way up. And then in each of the corners, what I've done is I chalk lined a miter, and then I actually used the medium arc and lined that up, making sure that my uh, miter line lines up with the center registration line on your mystical arc ruler. That way I can get a perfect balanced arc chalked in the corner and that's just going to be a guide for the rest of the border treatment. So now as usual what we're going to do is we're going to start from the corners and we're going to work our way into the center making sure that any oddball or lack of math measuring ends up in the center and it looks planned rather than having to figure out a lot of different math. So let's go to the machine and let's see how this border treatment is sewn out. Now at this point I have already done my ditch work to separate the body from the border as pre-prep and then of course like I said I put this chalk line here so that I can have my corner placed um, perfect. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up the center line in the arc right on the line that goes through the miter here. And let me slide up just a little bit, Turn it right there. It's going to line that up. I'm going to line that miter line right on the center line of the arc. And I am rested right here in the bottom, as well as I am on the other side. So I know that I'm lined up perfect for that very important corner arc. I'm going to hold my ruler. Got the handle there. Now with the handle, my hands are not in the way. I'm going to come around, follow the arc, go right into the ditch. Now what I want to do with this particular design is I'm going to bounce back and forth from this medium arc and the small one just to get a little bit more of a, um, more of a designer look to this border. So I'm going to slide this up. Now again, when I slide this up into my foot, I'm going to line up this three inch line right on the seam between the border. So it's going to be perfect all the way across as I slide it. So I've got that lined up. That registration line is there. Now I'm going to start. I'm going to come around, down. I'm right in the ditch. Now I simply slide my ruler, put it right in this valley again. And now I'm ready to start again. Come around, it's going to rest right down into that foot, which is that perfect quarter inch line. Slide my ruler, continue on, and again, I shove that ruler right up in there and make sure that that three inch line is right on the seam there. I'm going to work my way all the way over to the center. Slide the ruler. Down there. Now again, slide the ruler. It looks like it's going to be about the last time I'm going to do this. Come up, come back down. I'm right in that seam. Slide this ruler away. I'm going to go ahead and bring in the medium because I want that odd looking arc here. Now when I come up here, right when I get up to this halfway mark, that's when I'm going to just backtrack just a little bit to lock my stitches. So I'm going to come up, stop there, and I'm simply going to come back and forth. If you choose to bury your threads, that would be fine. And that's going to lock my stitches. Now for me, what I'm going to do after I finish this design, I'm going to show you the next few steps as we work through it after I come back the other way. Um, but I'm actually going to thicken this line because I'm going to put micro work out here. Um, so again, that's why I'm not going to bury my threads here. Okay, now I'm going to start from the other corner and work my way in. 
Okay, now I've locked my stitches again. So now I'm going to take my ruler, take that center line in the arc, line it up with the miter line, and again, I put that chalk line in there just to make it easier for this filming. Line that right up. Okay, I'm going to come around. Go right into the ditch, and that nestled right into this foot notch right here, so it's perfect. Now I'm going to move this one away, and again, I'm going to grab the smaller one. Now obviously, yes, you could use the medium arc and just keep the same arc going, but I want it to be a little more fancy than that. I want to make sure that you can see some of the options as you play with these rulers. So now again, this straight line, the three inch line, is lined up right on the seam. I've got that nestled right in. That's going to keep that stable. It's going to come up go down, slide the ruler, got that, got the straight line there, come up, down, right into the ditch, slide the ruler. Remember with rulers, you never want to lift rulers to move them. You always want to make sure to slide everything around, and that keeps everything away from under your needle and the hopping foot. Come around down, do one more of the small, and then we'll grab that medium and meet in the middle. Sorry about that, that was one more. That was four of the smalls. Start here, come around. There, I'm in the ditch, slide that away. I'm gonna slide this right up there, make sure that my line is lined right up on that seam line. And I wanna make sure that I'm gonna meet right up there where that other one is. So I'm in that perfect placement. There we go, I'm right there. I'm gonna lock those stitches. And again, remember, when I come back, I'm going to go over and thicken all this line after I put my microfill in. So this is not a big deal for me. If you're not a, um, a again, it's the whole burying the threads issue. So I'm going to pull away, go back, take my single stitch, and then I'll show you the next step for this border. Now we have our first steps of the arc all the way from the corner over to the center. And on this particular border treatment, what I want to do now, we've gone up to three inches, which is the max for the at least the small arc, um, as far as the size and the height of this particular arc in a arc in a border. What I want to do is now I want to take the second step down to two, and then I'm going to put a third one in there down to one. So you're going to have triple arcs in here, and then we're going to build up that positive and negative space all the way out to this section of the border itself. So now I'm going to stay in here and I'm going to go up to two inches. And what I like to do is utilize the Quilter's Apothecary tape. And the tape is a quarter of an inch. And actually this piece has been on this ruler and used a lot. So I'm going to take this and put that right at the two inches on the back side of the ruler, not the front side. Put that right on the line. And that's why I like to use a quarter inch because it fits right between my registration lines on the ditcher and all the other rulers. It's not this wide um, painter's tape that's going to consistently come off. And I'm just going to make sure, straighten that up, get a nice straight line all the way across. And I like it because it's pliable. But when it's on, it is on. It's not going to be easily um, wiped off or rubbed off from the back because of the friction. It's going to stay there until I take it off and put it back here and keep reusing it, which is why I like it. So now that's up to two inches. I'm going to bring my machine over. I'm going to lock my stitches here and I'm going to go all the way over and repeat the same process up to two inches. Now I'm going to go ahead and sew up to two inches in my arc. I've got my tape there. I'm going to slide this right up in. I have locked my stitches. And I'm going to eyeball the center on both sides of this edge just to make sure that it's fairly even. And typically what I'll do is eyeball. But down here, I've actually put a few marks right in the center so that I can show you. You can locate the center, put a little registration line so that you can line up then the center line. Are you a perfectionist or do you just want to get her done? Now we're going to slide over. 
slide my ruler, slide the tape up to two inches, make sure I'm centered in there. And now I'm gonna go right over, come around and down, slide my ruler. Now in the mark spot, you can see how quickly I can go right to that spot, line my tape up, come over. You know, I love this tape for the simple reason that I don't slide the ruler and then have to count one, two, three, whatever registration marks on any of the rulers that I use. I, again, I just love using that tape on the bottom. Slide that right in there, come over, lined it up, and go in, slide my ruler, continue over, make sure I'm lined up, go right in there, now I'm over to that center mark, and what I'm going to do with this particular center one is I'm going to do the same thing with the small ruler. So I'm going to line that up right in the center, but what I'm going to do is come over in the ditch a ways, because remember we used the medium arc, and now I'm going to switch to the small arc. Make it a little bit more formal, a little more decorative. Now I'm going to slide up in there. So now when I go and put in my fill for the positive and negative, it's going to give me a little bit more of a fancy design in this inside portion. Now I'm going to start from the other corner of the quilt over here and repeat that same process into the center. Okay, so now as you look here, what we have is we have our arcs all done. I've got a double here. I haven't put the triple in yet. I'm not sure if I'm going to. What I'm thinking about doing is think, I'm thinking I'm actually going to fill in this inner point part right here, leave this blank, and then fill out out here with micro work. Now what I would probably do here is I might use my small arc again. And again, you can build this up as big as you want. I might go right to there and add just a little miniature arc outside here or something a little wider by lining up with these lines. And since I have this miter line and we have this wonderful center line in the actual ruler, we can pretty much do whatever we want and it's going to turn out perfect. It's kind of like those old granimals that we used to wear when we were a kid. As long as you match your numbers, it's going to work perfect. All right, so I'm going to do a little bit more work on this and then I will show you the finished piece. Mm -hmm. 